टूडे वी लर्न द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ थर्ड टाइप इन द चैप्टर कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल सो टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ ट्राइंगल इफ इट्स पेरीमीटर बेस एंड द एंगल्स विच इंक्लूड द बेस आर गिवन सो प्रैक्टिस सेट फोर पॉइंट थ्री फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल कंस्ट्रक्ट ट्राइंगल पी क्यू आर इन विच एंगल Q is equal to 70 degree, angle R is equal to 80 degree, and perimeter of a triangle PQ sum of length of all sides PQ plus QR plus PR is equal to 9.5 cm. The step for drawing such type of construction is first the whatever perimeter is given, so we have to draw. This is our analytical figure. Draw first the base of length nine point five centimeter. Then two angles are given here. Angle Q is seventy degree and angle R is eighty degree. We have to make half of both the angles. Half of angle Q that is seventy degrees thirty five degree and half of angle R that is eighty degrees forty degree. So we have to make angle of at point A. 35 degree and at point B half of that is 80 that is 40 degree. We have to join wherever this rays of angles are meeting that will be our point P. Now draw the perpendicular bisector of PA and PB. The perpendicular bisector will intersect this base line AB. Wherever this perpendicular bisector of PA is intersecting, that will be our point Q, and wherever perpendicular bisector of PB is intersecting, that will be our point R. So let us now draw the base AB of length nine point point five centimeter. Base AB of length. AB is equal to 9.5 centimeter. Now, with the help of protector, make the angle A 35 degree. Angle A 10, 20, 30, and 35 degree. And at B make the angle 40 degree. So this side you have to zero along the segment where the segment is pointing. That side you have to zero, ten, twenty, thirty, forty degree. Wherever both the rays are intersecting, that is our point P. Now draw the Perpendicular bisector of segment PA and PB. So keep the pointer at P. Take distance more than half of PA. Draw one arc above PA and one below PA segment PA. Lift the pointer and keep the pointer at A. Cut the arc which is drawn above PA segment PA and segment PB. See that both the arcs should intersect each other. Now draw the perpendicular bisector of segment PA. Wherever this perpendicular bisector is intersecting, the line segment AB is our point Q. Now draw the perpendicular bisector of segment PB. Keep the pointer at B. Draw the arc. Above segment PB and one below segment PB. Then keep the pointer at P. Cut the arc and cut this another arc. Both the arcs cut from point P. Draw the perpendicular bisector of PB. Point where perpendicular bisector intersects segment AB. Will be our point R. 
joint PQ and PR. If it measure this angle, this angle is our 35 degree, and if it measure this angle, it will be our 70 degree. This is 40 degree, and this will be 80 degree angle. So, hence we have constructed triangle PQR. Second example, construct triangle XYZ in which angle Y is equal to 58 degree, angle X is equal to 46 degree and perimeter of triangle is 10.5 cm. So first step is you have to draw the base segment that is of length equal to 10.5 cm AB then the half of angle X is 46 so half of 46 is 23 degree so make the angle 23 degree at point A and half of angle X angle Y that is 58 degrees 29 degree so make angle 29 degree at point B see that both the ray will intersect the point of intersection of both the rays will be point Z now draw the perpendicular bisector of ZA and ZB wherever perpendicular bisector of ZA is intersecting that will be our point X and ZB wherever perpendicular bisector will intersect set line AB that will be our point Y join XZ and XY hence this will be our triangle XYZ so let us proceed with our fair figure so first draw the base segment of length 10.5 cm base of length 10.5 cm AB 10.5 cm now with the help of protector make the angle of 23 degree at point A make angle of 23 degree 0 10 20 23 degree at point A and 29 degree at point B angle 29 degree 10 20 before 30 C 29 degree at point P join both the rays the point of intersection of both the rays will be our point Z now the next step is to draw the perpendicular bisector of segment ZA and ZB so with the help of compass keep the pointer at Z take more than half the distance of ZA and draw the one above the segment ZA and one below the segment ZA keep the pointer at A cut the arc and cut this another arc see that both the arcs will intersect each other now draw the perpendicular bisector of ZA by joining these two points so this is perpendicular bisector of ZA the perpendicular bisector where it is intersecting segment AB is our point X now draw the perpendicular bisector of ZB with the help of compass take more than half the distance in the compass draw one arc below the segment ZA, ZB and one above the segment ZB keep the pointer at Z see that both the arcs will intersect each other then draw the perpendicular bisector of ZB. Now point of intersection where the point when the line intersect perpendicular bisector line AB 
that is our point y join xz and yz if we measure all this length then all this length xz plus yz plus xy then the total it will be 10.5 cm for example construct triangle lmn in which angle m is equal to 60 degree n is equal to 80 degree and perimeter sum of length of all side lm plus mn plus nn is equal to 11 cm so the procedure first we have to draw a segment ab of length 11 cm whatever perimeter is there you have to draw the segment of base of that much length ab then here angle m is 60 degree so half of 60 is 30 degree so at point a make draw the angle of major 30 degree then n is equal to 80 so at the point b draw the angle of major 40 degree then this join the both the rays at point l name it at point l draw the perpendicular bisector of la and nb the wherever this perpendicular bisector will intersect segment ab will be our point m and n join lm and n and n so let us proceed with the construction so first draw the base segment of length 11 cm base of length ab is equal to 11 cm now at point a make the angle 30 degree angle equal to 30 degree at a it is half of half of 60 degree then make the angle 40 degree half of 80 that is 40 degree at b 40 degree the point of intersection of both the rays is point f now draw the perpendicular bisector of la and lb in the help of compass so in the help of compass take more than half the distance one are above the segment la one are below the segment la and from point a cut the arc cut the arc below the segment and join draw the perpendicular bisector the perpendicular bisector where the perpendicular bisector is intersecting point la segment ab is our point n now same manner draw the perpendicular bisector of lb take more than half the distance one are above the segment lb one are below keep the pointer at l cut the arc cut this another arc and join so wherever this perpendicular bisector is intersecting the segment ab is our point and join lm and l n to major this angle this angle will be 60 degree and this angle n will be 80 degree and sum of length of all side lm plus mn plus ln will be 11 cm this is how we can construct triangle lm